Hello everybody, thank you so much for stopping by for your July tarot forecast or tarot insights I should say. Um, what I'm going to be looking at is not a comprehensive look at your month at all. Um, this is going to be covering one theme that shows up during your month at some point. It may have to do with love, it may have to do with family, it may have to do with work, it may have to do with your home. It can be anywhere. I basically have given free reign to Sacred Spirit. We're going to talk about whatever it is that Sacred Spirit wants to bring up for each sign. So it's whatever is most important for you guys to hear about. Um, I know that disappoints some of you because you just want those love readings, but sometimes there are other things that are important too. So... Um, what I'm actually going to be looking at in these monthlies is one particular life cycle that shows up for you sometime in the month of July. And um, a life cycle, what do you need to know about that? A life cycle is something that we all go through and it is the purpose of it is to teach us something or to let us experience something um, either new or at a new level than before. So life cycle gives us a new lesson or new experience and we have the setup of the life cycle then we have the lesson or the experience and then we have the fulfillment or the ending of the life cycle the fulfillment is what happens as we integrate that lesson or experience into our lives and that'll be more at the end of the reading that'll be like the last three cards that i talk about um, before that is the setup and then in between is the actual lesson or experience how long is a life cycle is something that I hear a lot. Life cycles really, as far as timing, depend on you and how quickly you embrace or how much you resist the lesson or experience that you're being set up for. So um, completely up to you. I've seen life cycles last as short as 20 minutes, although that's pretty rare usually. And I've seen them go on for years and years and years <laughs> so like I said it really depends on you and how willing you are to embrace the lesson or to or how much you're resisting that lesson or experience okay so thank you once again everybody for stopping by for hanging out I do appreciate it now you know what you're getting into on with your reading hello there Pisces let's just jump right into your reading the first thing that I'm looking at does tell me about your environment and what you should know is that your environment is any place where you have energy or effort invested. Usually I see it show up as home but I've also seen it show up as school or as work as well. And so what I'm seeing about your environment is that there's a lot of confusion around it. So there's something that is in question about your environment. Maybe it's about you know, how long is your lease? When is your lease up? When do you need to be out of there? When do you want to be out of there? Um, maybe there's confusion about getting things maintained or repaired around in your environment, um, whether it's something that you would pay for, whether it's somebody, something somebody else would pay for. Uh, but definitely a lot of confusion showing up around your environment. When we look at your subconscious leanings, what's showing up for you, Pisces, is that um, you're feeling really emotional and triggered about some things during this particular life cycle in July. And so as you're feeling this, I think your subconscious is trying to work out, okay, what's going on that's making us feel so triggered and really emotionally out of control? So your subconscious is sort of working on that issue for you in the background all the time. Um, learning style as it applies to this particular life cycle um, I feel like you are trying to pick up information in a lot of different ways um, when it pertains to this life cycle and I gotta tell you this life cycle really feels like it has a lot to do with relationship to me so there's something like you're just trying to find out you know what's going on with the relationship <laughs> Um, like there's there's it doesn't seem like there's uh, a whole lot of direct communication that's going on here and so you're just kind of like putting your ear to the ground um, just trying to listen and trying to catch little hints or little clues and figure out what's going on with the relationship as far as communication style I feel like you're just being really quiet you're just listening paying attention to what's going on I don't feel like you're sharing a whole lot of information right now um, I don't feel like you 
uh, feel like you have a whole lot of information to share. You're feeling a little bit confused about what's going on, so you don't feel like you have anything really definitive to say here. So that's part of why you're being so quiet. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. All right, so the next thing that we're looking at is work. And for me, work can be those things that you do to make a living. They can also be um, those things that you're doing for your inner good, for your inner character, inner self. And so for some of you, it will come up as making a living. For others of you, it'll come in the other way. And for a few of you, it'll come in both ways. But what I'm seeing for work right now is that... Um, Everything is kind of turned upside down in work. Everything that you thought was secure and safe at work, um, you're kind of rethinking that whole plan or that whole idea of things. Now, if we're looking at inner work, I do feel like, once again, everything is kind of turned upside down on the inside. Um, you have a whole different perspective than what you used to, and you're looking at things completely differently as far as um, from an emotional stance than what you used to. All right, so that part of you that's being grown or expanded right now is the part that has to do with um, initial attraction to somebody. So very beginnings of relationships. To me, I feel like um, what's really being grown or expanded is your whole idea of first impressions of people. I think that your impressions of people, especially your first impressions, you're really paying attention to and you're really... Um, judging as to how good of a character judge are you. So really paying attention to that. Um, as far as things that you stand for, things that you defend, what's coming up here is um, some kind of healing from some kind of heartache. And so um, I would say that you have people telling you, you know, why are you letting somebody off the hook? Or why are you forgiving them? How come you're not holding on to that grudge? Why aren't you still angry about this or that or the other? Things like this are being said to you and you are defending yourself. You're defending the fact that, you know, you can release those negative emotions. You don't have to carry them around and actually it's not good for you. So, um... That's what I see you standing up for, is just releasing those negative emotions and letting yourself move down the path of healing. Now, as far as how people perceive you, they perceive you as, number one, a leader. They also perceive you as someone who's very comfortable with your feelings, that um, you um, are good at expressing your feelings, you're good at letting them out, you're good at letting other people know how you feel. There, nobody really wonders where they stand with you. Um, so this is uh, just some impressions of people um, when they first think of you. Now, lesson or experience that you're going through. I feel like there is somebody in your life during this particular life cycle in July, Pisces, who is... Um, the words that are coming to me are cutting you off. So that seems pretty extreme, and it, it's, it seems a little bit too extreme for what I'm feeling, but maybe for some of you it applies and fits just perfectly. Um, but I am seeing definitely a shutdown of communication between you and this other person. I'm just seeing that they're just impenetrable. Nothing is getting them to respond to you right now. And so... Um, and when I say right now, I'm recording this the very beginning of June, but we are talking about in July during your life cycle at then. So there's a situation where communication is just stopped at a dead stop between you and this other person. So as you are dealing with this situation, as you're integrating this into your life cycle, there are some things going on. And these are really interesting things that would have to go on at the end of communication when there's no communication so let me just feel around here a little bit mm, okay so Pisces I do feel like this is somebody that's ending communication with you and I feel like what happens when that person ends communication with you and when you start to realize wow nothing I can do is getting through to this person I'm not getting any kind of response back I feel like you 
I don't really want to say you have another person waiting in the wings, although for some of you I think that may be um, almost what the situation is, but I, but there is somebody that's around that's attracted to you and you're attracted to them, and I feel like they sort of step up and take the place of this person who cut off communication with you. So I feel like you replace that person uh, pretty quickly um, with somebody, and it, it looks like there's true feelings there. It looks like there are definitely feelings of love and affection and romance there and definitely some chemistry there. So it looks like um, by that other person, uh, shutting down that communication towards you, that allows you to close the door on that situation and open the door to another situation, Pisces. That is, looks like it's looks like it's really good, actually. And it looks like it's kind of an end to something that was very hurtful. And it feels like it's been going on for a while. And you've been sort of trying to break free from it for a while. And so this is this feels like the perfect opportunity <laughs> to actually do that. Okay, so Pisces, there are your insights for July. Thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic month, and I will see you back here the next time around. Peace out.